Hello and welcome to Montrose FC TV with myself, Stephen Dixon. Today's match comes from Lynx Park, it's the top of the table clash in League 2. It's Peter Head who are the visitors to Montrose. Both sides locked on 58 points, so this one's set up to be an absolute cracker. And it's going to be Peter Head who will get this match underway. The ball's played back the way. And it's back the way into the Peter Head left back area. Mason Robertson thinks it forward, headed back there by Sean Dillon. Gibson then plays the ball out wide right as Peter Head try to attack down the right. Dillon picks up again from a Dundee United man, chips the ball forward, finds Templeman, and he's quickly dispossessed there by Chris Johnston, former Killy man. Once again the ball's launched forward, this time by Michael Bolacheke, and there's a foul, and it goes against the Peterhead striker, Rory McAllister, free kick for Peterhead, it's Gibson who zips it in and it's out and it's going to be a goal kick for the Gable Indies. Free kick for Peterhead, Willie Gibson with a delivery, oh it's come off the crossbar! Peterhead keep the attack alive and they can't get the ball through, they, they do keep the ball those. Johnson plays the ball back the way, there's Michael Duff and it's played out wide left. Here's Willie Gibson running at the Peterhead defenders and he goes down under the challenge there. It looked like Gary Fraser was in there. Free kick, McAllister's charged down by Fraser. Gibson trying to knock it past Ballantyne. Has returned from Dundee Light for another lone spell and fighter in there and Alan Smith couldn't get ahead on it. It's out for a goal kick to Montrose. Watson with the free kick that's headed back the way by Jamie Stevenson there. Free kick, Peter Head, Gibson. Right foot shot, great save, Fleming. Spins loose and well, oh, the flag goes up against Alan Smith. Now here's Peter Head again. Here's McAllister back to goal, plays the ball. From left to right, here's Jamie Stevenson. Running at Lewis Millen, goes onto the left foot, chips into the box and it's headed towards goal, it's in the net! Jordan Brown gives Peter Head the lead on 37 minutes. Montrose nil, Peter Head won. And Peter Head, who have the slightly better goal difference, did have the advantage before kickoff. And now they're one up. Jordan Brown, first blood to Peter Head. Ballantyne gets that cross over it, headed behind for a corner kick by Jason Brown. Millen with the corner and it's palmed away there by Greg Fleming in the corner head goal. It does come off the Montrose player last and it's out for a goal kick. Here's McAllister with a free kick for Peter Head and it's about a yard or so over Alan Fleming's crossbar. Still Montrose nil. Peter Head won and that's half time. The goal on 37 minutes. The difference between the sides. It's second versus first. Jordan Brown on 37 minutes. With the only goal of the first 45. And then Montrose as Andrew Steves plays that back the way and the Peter Head trying to win the ball back. Good play by the goal scorer, Jordan Brown. Throw in for Montrose down the right hand side this time. Templeman flicks that on and there's a chance it's into the box and almost went in the back post was Callahan. Here's Steves. Steves gets the ball in left footed. It's away by Stevenson. Redmond to Callahan. On to Steve. Steves checks inside. He's under pressure and the foul goes against the Peter Head. Number 12, Alan Smith. Free kick. Montrose. <coughs> Montrose go towards the Wellington seed end. <coughs> Flighted in by Masson. Templeman got the head on it but couldn't direct it goalwards. Ballantyne with a long throw. It does come back to the on loan Dundee United man. 
Now out to Steve. Steve's on the left foot. Shots charged down by the peeling head. Rear guard there, Jack Leach it was, who got the interception in. Steve's with a throw. Templeman. Peter Head get it half clear. It's back to Andrew Steve. Steve's flights her in. On to Fraser. Templeman. And here's a chance. It's Masson. Couldn't get a shot away. Good defending it was by Jason Brown. There's now Peter Head going the counter again towards the beach end of Links Park. Here's Ori McAllister. The former Inverness man. Flicks it back to Leach. And here's a chance. His right foot shot. It's well wide in the end, certainly worth an effort, a goal from Chris Johnston. Corner kick for Peter Head, and it falls to the back post. It's chipped back out and it's chipped back in again. But no luck for Peter Head as Alan Fleming gathers. Callaghan out wide left to Steves. Steves with a left foot cross into the box and it's away by Robertson. Templeman throws when the ball back as Redmond pulls the ball out wide, right to Ballantyne, Ballantyne chips into the box towards Templeman, Templeman back heels it back to Ballantyne and Ballantyne with a shot and it's the good couple of yards over Greg Fleming's crossbar, now here's Gary Fraser trying to flick it onto Masson, oh finds Masson and Masson with the goal, it's 1-1, Montrose are level, Terry Masson gets a leveller on 61 minutes Montrose won, Peterhead won, Montrose right back in it great play it was the ball was just flicked into the path of Terry Masson, he got there in the end it looked like Stevenson was going to deal with that also Mason Robertson was at the back for Peterhead but Terry Masson capitalised on poor Peterhead defending and it's 1-1 at Lynx Park on 61 minutes now Peter Head looking for a, a way back in front and there's a shot and it's a good save from Fleming. As now Peter Head go forward again, Watson misjudges that, here's a great chance for Peter Head and it's in the net! It's Alan Smith on 63 minutes and Peter Head were only level for 2 minutes and now back in front, Montrose 1, Peter Head 2 as Peter Head regain their one goal advantage and it was Alan Smith who capitalised on weak Montrose defending there Sean Dillon couldn't get back in time and Alan Smith knocks the ball past the outrushing Fleming and now here's McAllister he's Peter Head are hungry now McAllister goes for a third for Peter Head but it's well wide Lewis Millen with a free kick into the, the box and this is in the net it's Chris Templeman Montrose are level in 71 minutes, a great free kick by Lewis Millen right into the mixer and Chris Templeman just touches the ball delicately past a well away from Greg Fleming before knocking into the unguarded period head net it was great intelligent play there by Templeman he's with the right foot he just takes the ball away from the goalkeeper I mean his left foot slides in and knocks the ball into the period head net, it's Montrose 2 Peterhead 2 on 71 minutes. And now Montrose going down the right. Here's Ballantyne. Checks it back. Callahan with a left foot cross headed away by Robertson. Away as far as Dylan. Dylan scoops the ball back out to the right looking for Ballantyne. Callahan's there. Callahan dinks into the box. Look at Fraser. My great header away by Mason Robertson. Corner kick for Montrose. As Montrose look to crank it up another gear or two. Masson with a corner and it's flicked towards goal there by Dillon but it, it comes off the top of the net there and it's out for a goal kick to Peter Head and now Peter Head going down the left this time inside good play there by Montrose to force Peter Head back the way but Peter Head pick up again good play here's Peter Head going down the left this time and it is the substitute and it, and it's dinked in and McAllister was close but not close enough goal kick for Montrose Steves inside for Fraser back to Steves Callahan Fraser into the box as a header towards goal and Lewis Millen has scored Montrose take the lead for the first time in this match 81 minutes on the clock and second place Montrose could be about to leapfrog the league leaders Peter Head into pole position 
in the League 2 and Montrose have actually played a game less so it would certainly be advantage Gable Endies, what a cross that was and Lewis Miller with a header on the 6 yard line beyond Greg Fleming and it's Montrose 3, Peterhead 2 81 minutes now Peterhead with a chance almost falls from there they were so close it was Aidan Michael Duff with a shot corner kick for Peterhead flighted in right footed there's the header in there by Jason Brown and falls there kindly for Karim Bel Belmokhtar couldn't hit the target there's McAllister and it's well wide of Alan Fleming's left hand upright Stillman throws three, Peterhead two another corner kick for Peterhead Gibson flights her in here header towards goal great save from Fleming Peterhead keeping the pressure on can they find a late leveler good play here as the ball's d almost dinked towards the six yard box again it was Scott Brown who managed to win <coughs> the corner now here's going another free kick for Peterhead they the throw the goalkeeper forward and everything Greg Fleming <coughs> has gone forward but that is full time and at full time at Lynx Park it has finished Montrose 3 Peterhead 2 an absolute pulsating 5 goal thriller it was Peterhead who struck first in the first half on 37 minutes through Jordan Brown Terry Masson levelled for Montrose on 61 Alan Smith put Peterhead back in front on 63 before Chris Templeman on 71 and Lewis Millen in the last 10 minutes on 81 to give Montrose the 3-2 lead next up for Montrose is an away trip to Clyde on Saturday and that's it for us for this show final score Montrose 3 Peterhead 2